Today I'm running a controlled test with a EcoFlow Delta II Max trying to charge my car. And I'm trying to figure out how much power you can actually get out of this portable battery. EcoFlow says this is a two kilowatt hour battery or 2048 watt hours. But how much of that actually makes it into a Tesla battery? That's what I'm about to find out. Now, if you look at this, I'm also using a grounding adapter. It's plugged in there and it plugs into the USB-C port on the left there. And it is reporting no issues. I just haven't changed the allowable state of charge on the Tesla yet. The Tesla will charge at about eight amps on 120 volts on this battery. So it'll be getting about 960 watts. And you would think, okay, how much actual charge am I going to add to the battery? Because there are losses between the portable battery and of course the battery in the car, which is about a 50 kilowatt hour battery from a 2019 standard range plus model three. You'll notice that there is no uh, HVAC on right now. So that's to prevent any other power coming out of the battery. And we are going to change the state of charge from 70% to something higher. Actually, we're also gonna make sure it only pulls eight amps. So let's turn it up. So the Tesla is charging at eight amps and it is going very slowly, but it is a faster test than what I would do if I was just using my entertainment system. After about four hours at a steady 175 watts, the EcoFlow dropped from 100% down to 60%. The Emporia app logged about 700 watt hours. That shows two things, low loads take forever and state of charge doesn't match the usable energy. So next I ran a three cycle test from full to empty to make sure it's reporting accurate state of charge for my mother-in-law's solar hybrid heat pump, which so far has been working out really well and I'll have a future video on that as well. And this is why the numbers don't make as much sense as you might think because of the losses that you have from the battery to the inverter to whatever you're powering up. But this test, I have Teslify data to show how much of that energy is actually getting into the car. And I'll show that when the test is done. Right now, it looks like we're at about 90% on the EcoFlow Delta II Max. We have another 90%, but because it's going at close to a kilowatt, it should be done within a couple hours. So then I will charge the battery back up from zero to 100%. And then we'll see how much energy actually makes it into the Tesla's battery over three cycles. I'll be able to see how much usable AC power the EcoFlow really delivers. There it is, 0%. The first part of the test has shown that the battery supplied about 1.91 kilowatt hours out of a possible 2,048 watt hours. That two kilowatt hours is close to 12 kilometers of driving range. But how much actually got into the battery? Is this really going to add another 12 kilometers of driving range or something less? Well, I'm gonna do two more cycles and this time I'm actually going to increase the amperage for the next two cycles to be about 12 amps to see if the efficiency improves and I'll report on all of that as soon as the two cycles are done. The EcoFlow took about 1,945 watt hours from the wall to charge. Overnight, it lost about 45 watt hours, so we'll call it 1,900 watt hours in. And on the discharge, the Emporia plug measured 1800 watt hours out, which means the EcoFlow was actually about 95% efficient, which is great. But then when I checked the Teslafy data, at eight amps, the Tesla battery received 1.32 kilowatt hours. At 12 amps, it received 1.44 kilowatt hours in each test. So in real terms, for every four kilowatt hours of energy you'd produce, you would get about three kilowatt hours into the Tesla battery using this kind of method. In driving terms, that's about nine kilometers of range added, not the 12 you'd expect from two kilowatt hours on paper. It's okay, but it's also not that great. The best solution you can have is whole home solar. Your own system that can power your cars, your lifestyle, your entire home. And you can do this if you contact me. The email is in the description. Let me know you're interested if you're in the Calgary or surrounding area and I'll get you a quality quote from Level Up Solar. With home solar, when you charge while the sun is shining, almost everything you generate goes straight into the battery, about 95% efficiency. That means more range for your EV, lower costs on your power bill, and you're making the most out of the energy your panels produce.